Hello everybody, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. I um, Today is Saturday, August 17th, and it's 50% off day at Goodwill. So I raised you up today so that I could show you some of the things that we picked up. We went to three Goodwills. We actually went to four, but the parking... Let me scooch this table because my headset's getting weird on it. Um, sorry. The um, parking lot at the one that I like to go to the most was packed, so we didn't go. So the first one, um, I found two grab bags, and then I found this. All right, let's pull up the grab bags. I don't know what's in these except for a couple of things that I saw. And um, I have a feeling my headphones is going to get in a weird spot because um, I'll just use the scissors to cut them. Because um, it is up a lot higher. So first thing is this. Oh, cool. I didn't even know that. Magnifying glass. That's pretty cool. I might give that to Robert. Robert um, only got one thing and it was something that I found. So here's a jar of Mod Podge. It's about half full. So that's not bad. Here's a thing of gold glitter. Who can't use gold glitter, right? Oh. So I'm going to tell you the price of the grab bag, but it's 50% off. So $4.59 for this grab bag. Four of these. Who can use those? Then there's um, Peking Family Stickers. I'll see if somebody at work wants these. They were originally $4.99. So this whole bag was the price of this pack of stickers. And there, there's six stickers in here. Um, it's just me and Robert and I don't put these on my car. I have nerdy stuff. So then there were... Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, this bag was definitely worth $4.50. This, if I can get it out. Oh... It's so hot today, so I don't know if it's because it's hot. You know what? Probably not going to be able to get it back in there anyway, so we'll just cut it out of there. A stamping block. How cool is that? I thought it was like a little case or something. I didn't know it was a stamping block. And then there's... Um, I'll just pick that up later. Two... Three stamp sets, which I did not know. So this one's alpha, banner, and a couple of frames. Um, let's see. Do I have anything? Hold on. I was not prepared because I didn't think I would really find much. Is this one plain? Oh, it's got a thing on the back of it, but it's fine. There's this one. That's pretty cool. And then this one has frames and banners. Let's party. Thank you. Soiree. It's a boy. It's a girl. Fiesta. Happy birthday. There's a nail and like a pin banner. Um, live, love, laugh. Thank you. Hi there, love you, and so much fun. And a cupcake. So that's pretty cool. That's a good find. And then this one's all uh, letters. Oh, it's for wedding, it looks like. My sentiments exactly. Wedding lines... And, oh, wedding, any, Audi, innies and outies. Okay, here we go. Uh, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Congratulations. May your new lives together abound in love today, tomorrow, and forever. Best wishes to the bride and groom. To the bride and groom. 
wishing you a lifetime of love, romance, and joy, and happy ever after. That's is actually pretty cool because um, if I rec and I'm sorry, that's gonna. I do not have any wedding stamps at all. So you, you're gonna stay up there. So that's pretty cool. So I got three stamp sets with a block, some Munch Podge, some glitter. Magnifying glass, stickers that I won't use, but these I will. So. Oh, let's see. I didn't really think I was going to put these once I opened them and looked at them. So, okay. I only work with half a table because, as you can see, that's my laptop right there. All right. So let's grab the other bag because I found two grab bags and a storage thing. So this grab bag, $2.50, a colors don't matter today because it's the one fifty percent off day, but these both happen to be yellow stickers. So I grabbed these because it, it just looked kind of fun. So there's Scratch and Solve Movie Hangman. Oh, and I didn't know that there was sit and solve brain teasers. I thought this was just one whole piece. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, oops, if you turn it set up. So, you guess what it is, and then you scratch off the letter to fill it in. That's kind of cool. I mean, I don't know if I'll use it as a game or if I'll use it in um crafty stuff because now that I think about stuff like that um I think crafty stuff brain teasers um if you're sitting down I hope you're sitting down no really some things are best done sitting down writing horrors playing piano and well doing puzzles of course inside this book you'll find over 60 brain teasers most of which you haven't seen before how do I know this because I conjured up a vast majority of these puzzles myself word puzzles arithmetic excuse me, arithmetic puzzles, even puzzles with circles and squares. So keep a pencil handy and maybe bring some scratch paper. No, not that kind. The kind you can write on. Good luck, Derek Niederman. That's kind of cool. Like, what's the next number in the following sequence? There are two possible answers. 17, 19, 23, 29, and then. So that's pretty cool. The diagram below describes a common three word expression. So that's pretty neat. Like I said, I didn't know there were, I'm sorry if that's making you guys dizzy. I didn't know there were two of them in there. So that's cool. I saw this uh, in there and it said 10 cards, five of each, two designs and 10 envelopes. But it's, well, apparently came from Marshalls for three ninety nine. Laughter is a celebration of friendship. So I thought I'd check and see. Oh, it's got a little Velcro. Oh, that Velcro's really stuck on there. Now I'm glad I didn't cut that nail. So Deb Strain, happily ensconded in her salt box home studio in Ohio, artist Deb Strain delights in creating bright, cheery folk art tributes to gardens, home, and friendship, her color palette depicts everyday scenes in wonderfully warm-hearted ways. Her beloved characters are primary focus of many of her paintings and take on simple tasks of country life with abundant good cheer. So they're all the same. No, because that kind of like says something. Note cards that said... Five of each two designs and ten envelopes. So I bet you somebody bought two boxes, if not three boxes, and then these were the, they didn't like this one, I guess, because it's all the same card. And then envelopes. That's what, I like that card. That's pretty cute. It's like got three kitties in that card. I think it's cute. And like I said, it's part of a grab bag, so, you know. You don't know what you're going to get until you open it up. And then I saw this. I didn't see that face, but I saw these back here. Extra postage required. Photographed in 1956. 
my mother was a huge Elvis fan. But I thought it'd be neat for, you know, what we... Oh. Oh, and it comes with envelopes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they're actual card cards. Okay. I liked him in this era when he wasn't um, on drugs. Or at least maybe not as prevalent. So there's one of those. There's three of these. But it'd be kind of neat to make a little card with if you know somebody that's an Elvis fan. So there's three of each except for the first one. So those are pretty cool. I think this one is my favorite, which is probably why there's only one of them. So yeah, that first grab bag, that wasn't too bad. So $250, uh, which was a buck twenty-five. You get postcards, cards, brain teaser that I didn't even know, and then movie hangman. So that's not bad. And then the other thing that I got, oh, and apparently they ask if you want a bag, and I didn't know why they were asking me if I wanted a bag. And I only got a bag for the first one because this other item was kind of big. Apparently they charge 10 cents for a plastic bag now to help save the environment. Okay. okay. Oh, and here's the receipt. I can find it. We have two receipts in here. Yes, they did charge 10 cents for the bag. Oh, well. It, I mean, the money goes to Goodwill, so it's not a big deal. But still. Alrighty. So I found this. So this whole transaction for this first bag, I don't think I have the receipt for the last bag because I think Robert has that one. $4.32. So one grab bag was $2.25. The other grab bag was $1.25. And this was 75 cents. It's Sterilite. They have these all over the place. I think you can even get it at the dollar store. But for 75 cents, you can't even get that for much. For that much. So, I have plenty of um, Clorox wipes. So, I'll get this cleaned up pretty good. So, yeah. So, this one's marked at $1.50 and I paid 75 cents for it. So I'm not mad about that. All right. I'll just set that one on the floor. Okay, the next one we went to, I'm going to show you this, the, what I found for Robert first. So this was another grab bag. I don't have to cut the tag off because the grab bag is ripped. But it was $4.49, so $2.25. So this is a uh, BBC licensed, so it's like, uh, well, it says Doctor Who, copyright 2012, BBC licensed by the BBC Worldwide Limited, made in China. And um, I'm probably going to say it wrong because he says I say it wrong every time. Dalek and then the phone booth. And it needs to be cleaned up pretty good, but he was excited. So this was in the bag. And when he found out that it was licensed, he said it was totally, and there goes the receipts. It was totally worth the um, regular price, let alone half price. Inside the bag was a rubber spatula, which he thinks is pretty decent. He uh, does a lot, oh, it's got a big chunk out of it, but he does a lot of um, chocolate malts. And then all these plastic knives. Now, I don't know if they're too sharp, but I have um, a friend that's got um, a daughter, a friend from work. She's got a daughter that likes to play with kitchen stuff. So I'll ask her if she wants these for her daughter because, I mean, what are we going to use them for? They did tape up the pointy-ended ones. So it looks like you got two... Oh, not two. Let's see if I can pick that up. I picked up the receipt. Oh, is that? Okay. 
these three all look the same. This one's a little bit... Oh, no, all four of those look the same. And then there's that small one right there. So I'll find out if she wants them for her her daughter for her play set. She has a play kitchen. So that'd be kind of cool. Maybe they can tape off the sharp ends or whatever. I think she's two. She's so cute. I've seen her picture. She's so cute. All right, so there's that one. That's the only thing that Robert got was that silicone mode. I was like, what are you looking for? What were you looking for? Did you find it? He's like, I don't know what I was looking for. And no, I didn't find it. All right, so here's this one. This one was marked at $6.50, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. So let's get started. So this is... It's kind of hard. Oh, no, it's still squishy a little bit. All right, just, it's, it's been loved. So probably need to clean it up pretty good. It's a little raggedy doll. Okay, this one has a pretty decent squish on it still, too. This one says, thinking of you. Oh, it's from Stampin' Up. I think I have one just like it, but it might be smaller. This one's also Stampin' Up. Congratulations. There's an ink. I don't know if it's any good. Um, that one doesn't feel too bad. This one's, it says preschool on it. Um, stamps something of Anaheim. That's pretty. Like I said, with these grab bags, you never know what you're going to get out of them. This one uh, might not. We'll have to clean it up and see. No brand name on it. It's a sunflower. But see, it's painted. So, and it's pretty hard. So I don't know if it'll stamp. But we'll, we'll give it a go. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, not worthy. 1995. This one says, oh, these are three hearts from the same brand that stamped something or they're from Anaheim that I can't read. So three hearts. This one's a heart, just on a foam block. Ugh. This one's a little angel. How cute is that? Noteworthy. Don't know how much from shadow on that, sorry. There's a wheel. Probably like one of those briar type things. And it looks like flowers, hearts, filigree. I've never used anything like this before, so. Alrighty, there's another ink pad. We'll look at those at the end. This one is, oh, cute. This book belongs to. Oh, cute. Still got a good squish on it. Hero Arts. A unicorn. This one is happy birthday. It kind of wiggles on there. Doesn't want to stay very well. This one is a bunny. Oh! Okay, well this came up, came off, so. I don't know if it's one of those, like, I don't know. And then we have a little, two little boxes in here. So there's happy birthday, a couple dots. These look like, oh, that's Stampin' Up. 
Oh, these are all Stampin' Up. So a heart, happy Valentine's Day, a flower, a bee mine. Um, I don't know if you would consider those sprinkles or like eye faces or whatever. And then little squares and hearts. These are super old. 1995. Wow. And these two are also stamping up a crayon and a balloon. So. so that's what came out of that grab bag. Oh, the inks. Almost forgot. Oh. You're not going to go back in that bag. We'll just test it with this. Let's see, who do we want to test it with? Let's test it with this one because I have that stamp. Again, glad I didn't cut that nail. This looks dry. We'll find out. Oh yeah, beyond dry. That'll go in the trash. And this is rubber stamped images worth Repeating crystal dye based ink pad acid free black and it's damp, but there's nothing there. Yeah, well, that's a bummer. Oh well, so those can go in the trash. Move over here, little ghosty guy. Get out of the way. So, this little bag will just put all these stamps in this bag. That's not too bad. Get them all cleaned up. And also at that one, we'll just put you on the floor right there. I found this, and it's another reason why I put the, um, I elevated the stand. So I found this. This looks like a stencil thing. And then it says all this stuff on here. So let's just open it up and find out what we got. This one was two fifty. Do not scratch my light top, please. Alright, let's just move this over here. So these look like border pieces, so we'll get those out first. Oh, interesting. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, they got rulers on them. There we go. 11 inches. So there's that one. And that one. And there's that one. And that one. Was a scallop? Well, it tells you what the. Oh, this one was backward. Okay, so this one is wavy. This one is also wavy. This one is scallop, and this one is scallop. Oh, so there's four of them. Okay. Oh, so you put them on the. Okay, gotcha. So you make your wavy border. There's a, so there's two green scallop, or four green scallop, four wavy. And three ocean waves unless there's another one in there okay then there's this so there's this one no, this paper is not gonna be big enough to see it so that's kind of cool oh that paper doesn't fly the AC just clicked on 
So they're kind of hard to see because, you know, they're... Like that. What's... And then there's this one. And this one was priced by itself for $1.40 at Goodwill, but they threw it in this with this set. I don't know what that is. And then there's this. This is nice. Oh, it's Fiskars. No wonder why. This is really nice. And then, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. There's this one. And then this one had come apart. Or somebody had taken it apart. But it's popped out. But there's these. Oh, this is kind of cool. So you just never know what you're going to get inside this bag. Because you can't see everything that's inside the bag. You're just like, oh, well that one item looks cool. Let's hope the rest of it's cool. Okay. Here's more. Oh, they're like baby stuff. A mother's arms are made of tenderness and children sleep soundly in them. Victor Hugo. Hold a friend with both hold a true friend with both hands. Nigerian proverb. The older the fiddler, the sweeter the tune. English proverb. True happiness. A journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. Lao. There was a star that danced, and under that I was born William Shakespeare. I believe a leaf of grass is no less than a journey work of the stars. Walt Whitman. Peaceful thoughts, happy memories. Live each day with kindness, happiness, and a smile. So sweet our journey. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished, though. And paradise is where I am. Voltaire. Do not get oh, they're stuck together. So that's all the things that it said in there. Oh, and apparently here's the Dina's closets, because here's that right there. So there are a bunch of tags and borders and stuff. This is the one that's oh, that's kind of cool. So there's the borders. Here's the tags. That's like almost the whole set that nobody ever used. And then here's, they're all different. Giving peace, friends, happiness, hopes, kindness, sharing thoughts, congratulations, sweets together, my love, smiles, special seasons, remember, joyous, welcome, lifetime memories, celebration, baby, beautiful, childhood, cherish, family, and memories. And then this one says, Remember, kindness, dreams. These are all blank. Golden memories, special moments, lasting relationships, vision, inspire. These are blank. Courage, believe, moments, discovery, affection, and soulmate. And then I think there's... Yeah, here's one more. And it looks like they only use like one tag out of this whole thing. And then these are just tags. And it's this, which was included with all this, with this, which is the border buddy. Ultimate template for borders, corners, and cutouts. Works on any size page, including 12 by 12 and 8 and a half by 11. Easy instructions, layouts, creative suggestions on the back. So there's that one. Is there only one in here? Oh, it's just one, is it just one border piece? Original Border Buddy, BB2 Hearts, BB3 Geo. What is this one? Triangle, circles, and squares. This one, this is a BB3 Geo. BB4 Holiday, BB5 Camelot, BB6 Romantics. 
Mark layering, so it's a creative decorative edge for the BB3 Geo. Mark layering holes lightly with a pencil and trace line shapes. A next align row of layering holes. Trace starting and ending at each existing line to create a layered effect. Three peat for repeat for last row erase pencil marks that's kind of cool so this border buddy is not part of all these borders that came that are here oh wait a minute maybe they are they're just not in the package let's move these back over here oh that tag fell out again here, we'll do that this way Oh no, because this is completely different. So these are all completely different. But it's the same concept. That's pretty cool. Alright. I'm not mad about that bag, considering they marked that one at $1.49 for just one. And you get all of these. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, so that was it for the second place we went to. And then this is the last one we went to. Uh, we were gonna go to three, or we were gonna go to four, but um, the third one, because I do it geographically for driving. And the one that I wanted to go to the most, the parking was ridiculous. There was like no parking whatsoever. So this one was 349. Basically, this last trip was like, um, buy one, get one, basically. So this is for the fashion plates, and Rosemary over at Rosemary You Rock Art, she had just hauled one over at Savers. That hers was blue, and it had everything in it. It had the plates, the embossing pieces, it had everything in it. This one is just the case. But I was thinking um, if it would work out to do a journal inside of it. Because it's already got the closure. It's already got framed up. Yes, it says fashion plates on it. But, you know, that's all right. Right? So, for $1.50, I got it. And it came with all these little bags. Now, I have a little bag similar to this. I don't know if these are... These are probably all the same size, too. Oh, no. Yeah. No, they're different sizes. This one's the only one that's a different size, and it's not as thick a material. But um, these types of bags are always useful. Um, camping gear, arts and crafts, you know, stampings and stuff like that. So there's three. Okay, one, two, three. Seven of these. And they're the thicker you could like this one is like and it's also kind of grungy this one's like a not as thick i don't think it's the same um maker but they're like oh it looks the same so we'll stick it in the same bag um but it looks like this is from epoly by the tag on the inside and these are a little bit thicker they're probably um waterproof so this would be nice for like camping and stuff like that. So that's why I went ahead and got this one was because of this guy right here and these bags that I I know I'll use. And um, if I don't, I know Robert always has uses for bags like that. So this is the last bag, which was also $3.49. And I have to be careful with this one because I saw glitter floating around in it. So we'll stand it up, I guess. All right, this one I have to cut off. There are stamps in this little box right here, and the little tag says sewing, which I think is funny. And I, oh, nope, there's glitter all inside the bag. All right, let's do it this way. There's a bag of stuff inside a bag of stuff. 
Oh, did somebody pop open? Okay, maybe that's what the deal was. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's pretty. Let's not put it on my... Oh, it's embossing powder. Maybe I could save it. We'll find out which one it came out of. Okay, hold on. So I saw all these little jars, and my first thought, of course, is, oh my god, embossing folder powder. And let's see, who's the group? I think you're the offender. You are the offender. So let's see if I can get the... Oh, that is hilarious. All right. So we'll put you in there. And we'll do this tap off. So this one is from Ranger. It's getting all over my hands. It's a green embossing antiquities. Which is awesome because I only have like two embossing powders. One's clear and one's glow in the dark. Oh no wait, I gave glow in the dark to Lucy because I couldn't get it to work. Um, this looks like an emerald green glitter. Oh, gosh, that's pretty. But I can't see a name, a color of it. One ounce by volume. Non-toxic, that's good. Topiary. Maybe that's the name of the color. Okay, so there's that one. Stamp it stuff, embossing powder. Jeweled gold, look at that. That is gorgeous. Look at all that. Gold happiness, yay. Yeah, I am getting it on my... I'll have to clean that up. This one is the world's greatest embossing powder. Desert Wind, I believe is the color. Apparently it was $5. Stampmania.com. Looks like a brat. Oh, you don't understand, you guys. I never get, I very seldom get, like, good, good scores. But it seems like when I do, they're, like, good scores. This one is Mirror Gold, also from the same World's Greatest Embossing Powder. I'm getting green embossing powder all over the place. This is like a... Well, it says mirror gold, but it looks more like a copper. Like a brownie copper. That is so pretty. Oh, this is a flock. Cinnamon Toast Fun Flock from uh, Stupendous. Stupendous, however you say that. Apply adhesive to area to be flocked. Sprinkle with fun flock. And, wow, if you don't say that slow, you're going to get yourself in trouble. And gently press fibers into the adhesive. Allow adhesive to dry, tap off excess to flock. That's pretty cool. And that's cinnamon toast. This one looks like it's never even been used. This is also stamping stuff. This is called Winter Wonderland Opaque. Look at that. That's so cool. The one that's all over me is called Clover Meadow, by the way. This one is a Tim Holtz. Oh. It still has like the little wrapper on it. That's annoying. Does it, is that why it's on there? So you don't forget who it is? Okay, probably. Although it says right here at the top. Create weather-worn looks. Distress powder. And what color are you? 
You're completely covered in the green and basu. Oh, and basu and folder. Um, five dollars, but then down here it says four sixty-five. <laughs> Antique something. So that's what this one is. That's really pretty. Let's make sure we get that lid on there tight because it doesn't appear to be a, t a lid that stays tight. And then this. Creations Unlimited Embossing Powder Black Ice. Wow, that sounds exciting. Oh, get in the frame, Kelly, so they can see it. How pretty is that? And then this one that apparently caused all the, oh, it's a bag, that a shoe bag. <laughs> it looks like a shoe bag from Timu. That's funny. All right, you go over here because you're a mess. And this one... It's called Clover Meadow. And in case you hadn't guessed, it's green because it's all over the place. Let's see if I could use this little bag to... Oh. Oh my goodness, what a mess. Oh. I have a piece of paper here. But I also have the fan going, so hmm. let's pray this is not a disaster. You pretty much have to have a fan going in Phoenix. There's something in that powder. I don't know what it is. Oh, there we go. Managed to save most of it. Let's see if I can save what's all over my desk. We haven't even gotten in this little box over here yet. Oh my gosh, all this stuff is in the way of this production here. <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. And that's going to fall on the floor. Well, that was an epic fail. Okay, well. I guess I'll be getting out the Clorox for that. And I have it all over my hands, all over my desk. But it's green embossing powder. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven embossing, well, seven embossing full powders, one flock, one distress, and then this looks like green glitter. I don't know if it's embossing glitter or if it's just like glitter glitter. This is a little bit harder, but I don't know if it's because of the bag that it's in. But it looks like it's got chunky bits in it. So I don't know what that is. And then there's this little thing right here, which looks like a little gold credit card. A little gold stencil. That's pretty cool. And then I have this box of stuff right here. So, there's a couple of scraps of paper. <gasps> oh my god, how cute! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Okay, so there's... I think somebody had something in an idea in mind. And this, I noticed... Okay. I noticed this when we were standing in line. And it's a ruler. And I, I was just thinking, oh, of course, it cut off the one inch, but that's okay, I guess. That's pretty cool. And there's a needle in here. Oh, what's that? Okay, hold on to that. Oh, oh, cute. Okay. There's another needle. So there's these little square scraps. Of course, this would have been a good thing to use pen, uh, Penny over... Penny. Yes. Hi, Penny. <laughs> 
Patty over at Life with Patty had a prompt where you use fabric. Could have used all these little scraps if I were to do that. Oh, look, and even a button. That one has a button on it. These could have been used in that prompt. Fabrics. So they're just a bunch of two by two fabric squares. And well, that explains why it says sewing on the end of it. And there's this little card. I am going to, here's another card. I don't know what that was. It just went flying out of it. And it went, it went flying the dark area of that room, of the room. And this is like measurements for like a little onesie. <laughs> That's funny. And then this says, you're so special. That is cute. That's why it's in there. And then you've got little buttons. And these are pretty hard. I don't know how well they're going to stand, but them being that hard. This one's not bad. This one's pretty hard. You so special. And then, since I did mention Penny, and I got excited when I saw this, it's two of them, although I, since this one's already open, I don't think that there's a very much in here. These are itty bitty, itty bitty bicycle cards, a deck of bicycle cards. Yeah, they're all here. Well, including the Joker. Missing the Five of Hearts. Oh, that's weird. What are we? We're missing something besides the five of hearts. Because there's fifty-two in here, and it includes the two jokers. But, and I know the five of hearts is missing out of this one. But that's so cool. that's so cool. And I think these one, these ones are still wrapped up. This is like two years of mini deck the years. How cool is that? And there's more embossing powder all over the place. All right. That is everything. I have another thing I got to do. So I got to clean up all this embossing powder off the table before I do it. So this one was a, this one was a really good bag. So even if I wasn't like, eh, with the one, oh, wow. They even, the embossing powder even flew over to the table that I have over here. Um, even if I was kind of like, eh, on the one with all the borders and stuff, this in one bag pretty much made up for it. So that's pretty cool, <laughs> especially with the <laughs> all these embossing powders that I don't have. I only have, like I said, clear and I might, yeah, I only have clear. So that was pretty cool. The stamps, uh, the ink pads were dud, but that's fine. Yeah. Overall, I think it was a pretty good um, goodwill haul for the day. Alrighty, that's all I got for you guys. Um, this was um, the reason why they did. I did it today was because it's National Thrift Shop Day, August seventeenth, on a Saturday, and for the one day, um, Goodwill brought back the fifty percent off day. So that's why we went, and I found some pretty good stuff. Alrighty, thanks for stopping by. Take care. Bye.